You see, I, I thought it was a pretty good movie, eh? except for this part. Here, here, I'll show you. This part right here. <laughs> oh, you remember this part? Uh -huh. yeah. This is the part where he dies. Well, he doesn't really die, he just pretends to die. It's so sad. If a kid sees that, it's going to rip his heart out. A little too sad, if you ask me. There. Now the little lassie wannabe no longer passes away. All I have to do is edit the two ends back together. Editing videotape is a highly technical process, but I do this all the time, so feel free to try it at home. You remember a few years back, I believe it was uh, two years ago, a movie called JFK won the 1992 Academy Award for Best Editing. I got a hold of a copy of that last week and I fixed that one too. <laughs> now somewhere floating around this town there is a copy of JFK in which Kennedy actually survives in the end. <laughs> well, there's the edit. Actually, it's not too bad a one, even if I do say so myself. Of course, you can't play it like this because it's a little hard on the heads of the machine. in the Bible Belt. The censorship possibilities gets everyone real excited. <laughs> and there's one other vitally important thing I have to do before I return my tape to the store. Otherwise, they, they get a little upset. <laughs> Please be kind. <laughs> Tonight, in his memory, I would like to attempt to duplicate his performance. How you doing? Excellent. Excellent. Close the book. I'm going to need a number from you. And from this number, we're going to come up with a page number, a line number, and then a word within that line. You'll understand. You'll understand. That you Please give me any number between, say, 10 and 150. There's about 150 pages now. 90. Excellent. Please turn to page 90, if you would. While you're doing that, I'm going to come over here. Hi, would you help with this? Sure. Great. Shoes in your book. Number one. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. Excellent. Can you please look at any long, difficult word on any right-hand page. Change your mind as often as you'd like. Finally settle on one. Show it to someone sitting next to you. Do not say it out loud. It's very important. Hi. And can I ask you to help as well? Would you mind? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Can you please choose any word at all on any left-hand page? But just so we don't choose an easy word, say five letters or more. Any left-hand page. Again, share it with someone sitting next to you. Do not say it out loud. You should be on page 90 by now, is that correct? Yes, sir. Excellent. We'll choose the first digit to come up with a line number. Um, so count down nine lines, if you would. Okay, and now I would like you to just give me any number between, say, one and ten. Yeah, nine. So let's count over the ninth word in that line. Three words chosen at random. Please do not lose your place. You can actually close your book if you like. Please do not lose your place. Are we on the ninth word over here, sir? Yes, sir. I believe there are two letters in that word. Is that correct? Yes, sir. If and only if I get this word exactly correct. Please state that is correct. But do not lose your place. We're probably going to be coming back to you. That word is simply of. Excellent. Please do not. We're going to come back to you. Just a moment. Let's see. I'm going to start with the last person over here. Now, your word obviously is a little more complicated. The last person I spoke to here on the We're going to try this one letter at a time, if we may. I believe there is a an A in your word, is that correct? And a T? Yeah. And is that an E I'm seeing? An E? E? Is there an E in the word? There's not an E in the word. E, e from somewhere. Okay, it's that E. Oh, I'm sorry. E. 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 E.
There's no E. No E. Okay. Uh, I'm getting an E from someone. What is the first letter? Is the first letter of the word you're H. Word in the line that you're looking at. What's the fifth letter in that word? Just the fifth letter. Fifth letter. Fifth word. Yes. E. That's the one. There is an R in your word, sir. And an N. An N. N. And I'm seeing an S. Is there an S? budget. I'm just using the 
plastic here and we're going to cover over. Sir, for the first time, would you please call out your driver's license number from start to finish? Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 229. 229. 8484. 8484. Eight, 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 All right. So the budget for our hypothetical film would be $2,298,484. Absolutely. I think we can work with that. Next, let's see. I believe you, you were thinking of a title. Don't tell me what it is quite yet. The title of your favorite film. Those years were actually not unproductive. He gave me a chance to help Elaine raise her son. He's about to graduate from college now, so I thought I'd better get a job quickly, otherwise we end up competing for the same jobs. I've written down a title. Would you please call out the title of your favorite film? Citizen Game. Citizen Game. chosen a star, now you don't know who you've picked yet, correct? Richard Ryder III. That's my son's name. Of course, we don't call him Richard III. We call him Henry V. All right. Um, yeah, take, a, take a peek at who you have to. Hold it up so everybody can see it. Go ahead and hold it up so everybody can see it. <laughs> Let's see how we did. We'll start with the star. Now you had your choice of one in about half a dozen. The odds of me getting this right would be about one in six. You chose Elvis Presley. And just from our brief conversation, I had deduced that you had indeed picked Elvis Presley. Yeah. Yeah. Title, Citizen Kane. Now you had your choice of any film ever made. Yeah. You could have chosen another one of the classics, another one of the classics, Casablanca, right. Wizard of Oz. We chose Citizen Kane. Now, in the last hundred years or so, there's been approximately a hundred thousand films to come out of public. Mm. However, I asked for your favorite, right. so hopefully that would have meant at least a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so the odds of me getting this right would be about one in fifty. Right. <laughs> you chose Citizen Kane. Oh, and from our brief conversation, I got the impression that you would indeed choose City oh. Sin Kane. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Budget two million two hundred ninety-eight thousand four hundred eighty-four dollars—a random number, sir. Honestly, did you have any way at all to know that, that you were going to be chosen for this? No. And frankly, I did not know your driver's license. However, as far as I was concerned, the remake of Citizen Kane, starring Elvis Presley, would demand the budget of exactly two million two hundred ninety-eight thousand four hundred and forty-eight dollars. Oh. Yes. And what is your name, my friend? Gina. Gina. Which cereal do you eat, Gina? Hands and Flakes. That's right. Hands <laughs> and Flakes cereal. The cereal that America eats. <laughs> Gina, this is the old ring trick. For this, I use six separate rings. Will you count them with me, please? Count loud. Three, four, five, six. Six. Six separate rings. Now, Gina, each one of these rings is not only completely separate, but also completely solid. So it should make this completely impossible. Uh. Uh. <laughs> or having the rings just melt through one another like rings of smoke. Uh. <laughs> some people believe the rings I use might have some kind of holes or gaps in them somewhere. But check very closely. Do you, do you see any holes in the hand? Not quite that close. Do you see any holes in those rings? No, sir. Well, there is a hole. <laughs> Next, I'll take three rings. One, two, three, and link them together in midair. Now! Peter, are you watching closely? Yes. Go ahead and take those rings apart. 
apart for me. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Pull them and they come right apart. This might take a minute. So while you're doing that, I'm going to make a chain of three the hard way. From the bottom. Huh? All the way up. To the top. How you coming there, Gene? Not terribly well. <laughs> yeah. so you gotta take the rings apart. Take the rings and hold them where they join together, just like this. Yeah. We're close. <laughs> together. Perfect. Excellent. Turn towards the audience. Put one foot in front of the other and smile that enhancer flex cereal smile. <laughs> Swing one ring in. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Blow. And pull it off. Then you take the next two. <laughs> Keep smiling, maybe they won't notice. <laughs> Make it easy to do these two rings. Hold them these two real tight with two hands. Blow. And pull them apart. Uh, hey! Now for the artistic part. Four rings linked together. Four rings linked together, and finally the finale. Four rings linked together. <laughs> I can even take the bottom ring and run it all the way up to the bottom. Wow. Whoa. Don't worry, I don't understand it either. <laughs> Gina, will you please take me the solid ring? You know what I'll do. Excellent. This ring goes right there. And the last ring, that's your cue. Excellent. It goes. Right there. I started off with six separate rings. I end up with a chain of six. Wow. And this